Hello Gemini, welcome to my channel, welcome to this coming week's reading. For this week I am reading from the coffee cup and then I will be drawing out uh, these beautiful cards towards the end. This is a Tarot Nefertari deck that I have here. All right. Okay, Gemini, do remember to like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell also. Okay. Gemini, Gemini. Hmm. You're breaking certain patterns here. There's, it's almost like uh, more than breaking certain patterns that you have been like, it's like you felt that you were under some sort of spell but couldn't quite see it. Now you do, you know, certain cycles that have been happening that have felt difficult to, to break free from or to fully see what it is. You, it, it's being destroyed. That's what I see. It's like you are stomping on, on this, on this negative cycle. You are not afraid to rise up to the challenge here, to rise up to the challenge. And there's something here that you're going to say no to. You're saying no. And it's interesting. It's bringing you justice. You know, it's like um, the universe has, in a way been waiting for this moment for for you to really tackle something that has made you feel vulnerable at times and it's um like your reaction to this to everything that is coming out coming forward it's like the reaction is you're purging you're just purging it all out um it's almost visceral. That's the feeling that I get. It's like a visceral reaction to this, like emo emotion, emotionally. Um, and you're going to be so much better off once this thing is broken. It really is. It's like almost, it's almost like um, some kind of spell has been broken, a, a, a bad one from a long time ago i'm not i'm not saying that it's necessarily somebody put something on you I'm, I'm just you know like as a figure of speech i mean maybe but that um, i let i'm i'm using this as like um as an example as a figure of speech you know sometimes in life you go through certain things and then you get in this um kind of state of mind and um it's like you see it, but not fully, fully aware. Therefore, it hasn't quite been broken or you've been able to break free from it. And that's what I mean. So I, it's like there's, there's a very strong awakening that I see will be very emotional. But also you have um, a lot of supportive energy around you as well. You're breaking free from something. There's strong emotional support and what i see it's like your heart here is being there's a, there's a renewal there's a renewal of energy there's a this fulfillment that's coming in emotional fulfillment your heart feels new it's so interesting that's what i see it's like you your heart feels new fresh um ready ready for a new world ready to step into a certain kind of limelight here as well. One that you have known that you are right for, you know, in gaining a particular opportunity and stepping out like you've never done before. But it's like you, here you, you have this beautiful clarity, clear, it's like crystal clear clarity. Um, and this this uh, fearlessness of knowing that nothing can actually stop you in gaining what you want to gain here. I also see um, clicking with some someone um, on a very deep personal level, having this mutual understanding and mutual respect. Because I do see there was some ups and downs that you had connecting with someone or there was like... Things felt a little bit jumbled up or 
misunderstandings. And so we do see things being ironed out here, which is really good. Very, very important. You know, I see you've picked up like, um, like a small flower. And from this small flower, you're able to grow it into something, into a huge bouquet of flowers, into a field of flowers that are vibrant and and they smell beautiful and it's abundant. That's what I see. It's like, you know, from the sea to a small flower coming out to this great abundance that you are creating for yourself. There's something here that you are stripping down to the bare minimum, to, to zero. You're stripping everything down to zero completely from the root up. And there's no escape. There's no kind of like brushing anything under the carpet anymore. You're getting something settled, sorted, and it could be financially as well. You know, you've been going through some sort of process, but it's looking, I see a diamond. Again, like that crystal clear clarity, but I see diamond. It's this diamond energy. You know, it's your time to, to shine like a diamond. It's what I see here. Something that you've been speaking about, you're reaching forward to it as well. There's something here that um, you have to do things that are necessary, get things done, s certain deadlines and whatnot, but you're... you're You know, once you get out that out of the way, you could see yourself um, preparing for a trip as well. And I get something to do with an ultimatum or some, um, you know, you're not waiting around anymore, which is good. Let's see what the cards have. Oh, and then nine of pentacles. Gemini, Gemini. The Emperor, all right, I like that. Oh, 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 and the Eight of Wands, okay, I like it. The Nine of Pentacles, the Emperor, and the Eight of Wands, Gemini, yes. Mm, you really are coming out of your shell in many ways. You're standing tall. You know who you are more than ever. There is such, it's, ah. Oh, I can't say it enough. It's like this perfect clarity that is coming in for you. And you know that you have what it takes to create this, this abundance that's long lasting in whichever department in your life or all departments, all areas, you know. But what I do see is that you're making sure that the sunlight that you are basking in does last. And it's a relationship that you're going to continue with. It makes sure that you do plant your seeds very, very well so it can continue to grow. You're on your way to manifesting something that you are making sure that you have things under control, that you are a step ahead um, here. You know, you're a step ahead of the game. And um, I do also see here with the Emperor, you're needing to put your thinking cap on. And just make sure you, you do your due diligence if there's something that you are working on um, that need that that is a little bit sensitive or you, you it needs it needs a bit of extra care which you seem to have a really good hold of as well. Something is um, I, I get something permanent, perhaps signing something for a permanent job, permanent home, um, securing something. I see you're securing some sort of contract of some kind. And with the Eight of Wands, it shows there is this, again, I'm guessing something to do with your emotions, that fulfillment, emotional fulfillment, something here that you're going to get very good news about that will really help also speed things up. So definitely put a smile on your face and help speed things up for you. Um, uh, and, and the travel as well, we see something to do with travel. Something that is um, a place that you will definitely enjoy um, time spent for yourself where you can also grow, you know, heal. There's something about you taking a break from, from, from something that 
you've needed for some time. Three of Pentacles and the Star we have here. Three of Pentacles and the Star. Rising up to some challenge and because of that, Universe is rewarding you with this. And the Three of Pentacles, you know, it, it, it shows that um, with teamwork, you can absolutely accomplish anything you want. And there is, I do see somebody has their eye on you in terms of a promotion or in terms of, you know, taking you up to the next level of some kind. You could also, what I do see being brought to the front of the line. If you've been waiting on something, you've been on, you've been in the queue in the line for quite some time, you're in luck where you get advanced. And it really does help you out because it, it is helping you accomplish um, accomplish something that was a struggle. Accomplish something that you found to be um, a bit of a pain. That's what I get. You know, it, it's been a nuisance even though you love it so much. Sometimes something that you want so much, something that you're passionate about, you, you can have a love-hate relationship with it just because it's... It sometimes is the most difficult thing. And so you wonder, you know, if this is something that you still want. But when it comes through, it's like, okay, okay, I'm, I am I am doing this with the fool. Oh, I love this. Here we go. Look at this spread. This is excellent. I'm loving this here with the fool. Oh, yeah. I You are doing it. Here you go. It's like... It's like you are in this position where you say, this is what dreams are made of. This is what dreams are made of. Taking that action, taking that leap of faith. There's something here that you're not allowing yourself to have any boundaries anymore. And those boundaries had something to do with restricting yourself with something that was wholesome and good for you. And those things you're tearing away from. And you're like, no, you know, I deserve to be happy. Um, there's something that is being illuminated also for you, shining. Oh, as I was seeing, there's this, this, this thing that's shining. Shining, like the star, like this diamond. Like this fool that, that is just taking these chances. It's a big yes. And also it's a responsibility that it's going to really help things grow a lot some kind of responsibility that's coming in that you're going to be very happy with releasing the ones that you 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 didn't want bringing in what you do oh gemini i love it thank you so much for being here really hope that this was helpful this one was oh i don't know i feel um excited even though there's all these emotions coming out but it's exactly what's needed thank you so very much appreciate all of you so much for your support please do take care and i shall see you next time